Hello. In this video I'm going to show you how to install TeamViewer in both Linux and Windows. In this case it's Linux Ubuntu and Windows Vista. And I'm going to begin with Linux Ubuntu. And before I install TeamViewer on Ubuntu I have to install a program called Wine. Wine is a Windows program loader and it allows you to run Windows based programs within a Linux operating system. So I'm going to go to the Ubuntu Software Center and in the search box I'm going to type in Wine. I'm going to click on Wine Windows Program Loader Wine 1.3 and then I'm going to click install and it's also going to install the Wine Microsoft Windows compatibility layer. Wine has finished installing I'm going to close the software center and next I'm going to open a web browser and in the search box I'm going to type in Team Viewer under the search results I'm going to look for www.teamviewer.com and I'm going to click on the download link when Team Viewer's download page opens I'm going to scroll down here I can choose from the Ubuntu 32-bit or 64-bit version I'm going to click on the 32-bit download button I'm going to leave open with Ubuntu Software Center checked and I'm going to click OK. When the Ubuntu Software Center opens, I'm going to click Install. And TeamViewer installed successfully, so I'm going to close the Ubuntu Software Center. And now I'm going to go to Dash Home. And in the search box, I'm going to type in TeamViewer and I'm going to click and hold on TeamViewer's icon and drag it onto the taskbar and now it's locked to the taskbar and now I'm going to open TeamViewer this is the unique user ID that TeamViewer assigns to you and this is your password it's randomly generated right now it's set to four digits which is the least secure so I'm going to go to extras and then options security and in the random password section I'm going to set the password strength to eight characters and then I'm going to click OK now my password is eight characters long and if I go back to security I could also set a predefined password in other words if I predefine a password my partner can establish a connection with me using that password instead of having to know the randomly generated password and if you wanted to use a predefined password you type your password in and then under random password you go back to the drop down menu and click disabled no random password and then click OK and as you can see there's no random password in the password box now so that means that the Ubuntu machine right now has a predefined password if you wanted to establish a connection to your partner's computer you would type in his ID here and then you would have to get the password from him unless it's predefined and then click connect to partner but we'll get to that more further into the video and that's how you install TeamViewer in Linux Ubuntu next I'm going to show you how to install it in Windows now I'm going to show you how to install TeamViewer in Windows I'm going to go to the web browser I'm going to type in TeamViewer and once again under www.teamviewer.com I'm going to click the download link when the download page opens I'm going to scroll down and in the all-in-one section I'm going to click the download button when it's finished downloading I'm going to click on the executable and I'm going to click run I'm going to leave install checked I'm going to click next I'm going to check personal non-commercial use and then click next I'm going to accept the terms of the license agreement and I'm going to agree that I will only use TeamViewer for non-commercial and private use and I'm going to click next. I'm going to leave no default checked and click next. TeamViewer is now installed and once again here's your unique user ID and here's the randomly generated password and I'm going to go up to extras once again I'm going to show you how to set the passwords you can set the random password strength or you can define your own password 
and then choose disabled no random password and click OK and I'm going to establish a connection to the Ubuntu machine from the Windows machine so I would need the ID of my partner and then once I've typed the ID in I can click connect to partner and it'll ask me for the password I'm going to type in the predefined password if not you would ask your partner what his randomly generated password is and type that in I'm going to click log on and this is my Ubuntu machine and now I have control over it and I can make configuration changes run some diagnostics or whatever needs to be done and just to show you here's the actual Ubuntu machine here if you wanted to close the connection to your partner you just simply exit out of team viewer and then click OK and then you could exit out of this too next I'm going to show you file transfer I have a folder on the desktop right now name transfer and I'm going to check the file transfer radio button and then I need to type in my partner's ID and then I'm going to click connect to partner and once again if you have the predefined password you could type in his predefined password if not you would have to ask your partner for his randomly generated password I'm going to click log on you have two sections you have the local computer and the remote computer the local computer right now is the Ubuntu computer this is the one that has established the connection to the Windows computer and now I need to search for the file that I want to transfer so I'm going to go to home Ubuntu desktop and I'm going to select the transfer folder and then I need to select where I'm going to have it transferred to on the remote computer so I'm going to select desktop and then I'm going to click send on the remote computer it's showing the transfer folder and if I bring Windows Vista over here's the transfer folder here here's the event log that tells you that the folder was transferred and once again to close the session you just exit out click OK and then just close Team Viewer. And that's how you install TeamViewer on both Linux and Windows and use it for remote desktop and file transfers. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.